My name is Judy Stevens, and I am policy coordinator at the Better Government Association, and not a, a 92 year old nonpartisan, nonprofit, uh, good government uh, watchdog organization that advocates for transparency and accountability in government. Uh, the proposed property tax increase and other revenue raisers, the budget cuts and other proposals to balance the budget understandably take center stage in budget considerations. However, the BGA sees several areas ripe for reforms that would contribute to savings and increase the public's confidence that the city council and the mayor's office are doing everything they can to serve as responsible stewards of taxpayer dollars. The city council is already considering two such proposals and we urge you to proceed to act on them as the budget is being finalized. The first is the Privatization, Transparency, Accountability, and Performance Ordinance. Introduced in July, this ordinance bears the names of 40 aldermanic co-sponsors and Mayor Emanuel, yet it remains in committee waiting for a hearing. Passing this ordinance would show the public that the City Council and the Mayor's Office are acting effectively and transparently when considering potential privatization deals. The second is the proposal to merge the Office of the Legislative Inspector General with the, into the Office of the Inspector General, the Executive Inspector General. This move would show, that the, show the public that the Council is willing to subject itself to effective oversight. Such a merger would also eliminate redundancies in administration and staffing between the two agencies, potentially saving the city money while establishing a more efficient and effective model for city council oversight. Both these proposals exist in ordinance form and have strong city council support. They deserve a hearing and a vote. Finally, the city of Chicago could save money by ensuring best practices in transparency and open government are met at all levels of city government. For example, by not conducting public business on private email and by responding to Freedom of Information Act requests in a timely and comprehensive manner, the city could save in legal and court fees that result from inevitable challenges to secretive practices. We would be happy to see the city be able to budget and spend less for these legal costs while also ensuring and promoting the public's right to public information. As you make tough decisions on looming costs and proposed revenues, we urge you to consider these good government policies and best practices with the potential to save money and contribute to more capable and credible city government. Thank you. Okay, Ms. Stevens is representing the BGA. Does anybody have, any of the members have a question for her? Thank you so much for coming down and joining us today. Oh, excuse me, Ms. Actually, Stevens, you do have a question. Alderman Lopez. Thank you, Madam President. Actually, not a question, just a quick uh, kudos to the BGA. Thank you for coming to my office. Thank you for sharing your thoughts, concerns on how to make the city better, city better, not just with me, but with the entire city council. So thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you.